Hi there! I'm Sheer Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow Books and Artist Tablet Books. In this lesson, we will have fun with photo painting in Painter Essentials 5. We will use auto painting to make a photo painting from a photograph, and then we will use brushes to touch up the image by hand. You can achieve a variety of painted looks with Painter Essentials 5. The pencil drawing example on the left, the impressionist painted example in the center, and a boldly colored illustration look that you see on the right. Okay, I'm going to close these images and we're going to get to work. Now, our, you can start an auto painting from the launch screen in Painter Essentials 5 or for, from within Painter, and that is how we're going to do it with this lesson. So on the right you'll see the photo painting panel. If the photo painting panel isn't visible on your screen you can locate it underneath the window menu at the top and you'll see down near the bottom photo painting. I'm going to browse for a photograph, the cirrus cactus flower that I showed the example for and we're going to choose this one right here, cirrus flower ref. And you see Painter Essentials has opened a file for us to work with. And let's look at some of the presets here. Detailed painting, impressionist painting, oil painting, modern painting, illustration, detailed watercolor, watercolor sketch, colored pencil drawing, pencil drawing, pen and ink drawing, and pastel drawing. We're going to choose illustration. And we're going to click Start to begin. And sit back and relax and enjoy watching Painter Essentials make brush marks based on the photo. You can let this process continue until it's finished or you can stop it at any time by clicking on the image. This illustration process uses one of my very favorite brushes in Painter Essentials in Painter 2015, the Opaque Acrylic. So we're getting close to being finished now. When we work on the touch-up, we're going to focus more attention on the center of interest, which is the flower itself and the center of the flower. Okay, now the first thing that I want to do is diffuse some of the detail that is in the background. So I'm going to use, I'm going to go to the brush selector here, open the brushes library, choose blenders, and choose diffuse two. And I'm, I've got my stylus here, and I'm going to brush over some of this detail that's in the background here to diffuse this detail and lower the contrast of it some. That way we can focus more attention on our center of interest. There we go. And I'm also going to diffuse out this dark spot right there. Okay, now I want to point out a couple of more items on the photo painting panel. You see, if I wanted to paint with a brush, clone color from source image is chosen. And our source image is here in the photo painting palette. If we want to turn on tracing paper, see, we can do that. I'm going to toggle it on and off. And we can change the opacity of the tracing paper as well. I'm going to turn it on and we're going to go over here to our photo painting brushes and choose the soft cloner. Now you see this detail in the flower right here? We're going to bring that through our painted image and I'm just going to turn off tracing paper there. And we're going to crispen up a couple of these edges right along here. I just love the bold color that this illustration preset creates from my photograph. One thing to remember when you're doing touch-up on your photo painting, don't clone in too much of the original photo back into your photo painting. You want to preserve the organic painted look. We hope you enjoyed this beginner's overview of photo painting in Painter Essentials 5 and happy painting!